People spend most of their lifetime inside buildings. Bad indoor air quality due to harmful substances in furniture, wallpaper and carpets, but also from the outside, can cause symptoms like discomfort, exhaustion, headaches and what is called the sick building syndrome. Until now, air quality has only been measured in terms of CO2 or the total amount of so-called volatile organic compounds VOCs, in the air. As not all of them are harmful, it is necessary to distinguish between benign and hazardous VOCs in order to develop a smart on-demand ventilation system. It is these hazardous VOCs that are at the center of the EU-funded research project Sense Indoor. Sense Indoor is developing a nanotechnology-based smart sensor system for the selective monitoring of hazardous VOCs in indoor environments. Professor Andreas Schütze from Saarland University is the coordinator of this European research endeavor, launched in 2014. The main idea behind Sensendor is to have demand control ventilation in all rooms in the building so that we can control the air quality inside the building and do, um, find a good compromise between energy efficiency in the buildings and uh, the uh, safety and, and healthiness of the buildings. We have different sensor technologies um, based on nanotechnology that we bring together to have a multi-sensor system that is able to distinguish hazardous VOCs from benign VOCs and that is able to control the air quality in buildings and control the uh, ventilation to get a better air quality for all of us. For the new smart sensor system, the researchers used special sensing layers which are integrated onto microstructured platforms for two different sensor types, developed and tested by different industrial partners. Combining the sensor with a pre-concentrator is a unique approach to further boost the sensitivity and selectivity of the sensor system. From the outside, the system looks similar to an ordinary light switch. What happens inside, however, is a complex combination of physical and chemical nanotechnology. In the center of the system is a small sensor pre-concentrator device. Surrounding air enters into the device by diffusing into a gas port. The targeted hazardous gas molecules absorb on a pre-concentrator, a metal organic framework layer deposited on a micro-hot plate. After an accumulation period, the micro-hot plate starts heating up to a maximum of 200 degrees, resulting in the desorption of the gas molecules and a short peak of highly increased gas concentration at the sensor, comparable to a trickle of water filling a sponge and then abruptly squeezing the sponge to release the water. At the same time, the temperature in the sensor, which is also equipped with a micro hot plate, temporarily rises to a maximum of 400 degrees, leading to the combustion of the gases, each at their individual temperature threshold. This way, the system can detect several hazardous gases and report the status of the air quality to the user. Picodon is developing thin film coating technology based on pulsed laser deposition. Pulsed laser deposition in this project is used for developing sensing layers uh, for the gas sensors. So the active layers uh, in the sensors uh, producing uh, the sensing. The sensor components in Sensindor project are utilizing PLD's ability to produce nanostructured layers and to control the nanostructure and size of nanoparticles. This provides the ability to tune the sensitivity uh, and performance of the sensing layer. Picodian is one of a total of 10 partners from five European countries forming the multinational Sensindor consortium. In addition to research institutes, the early engagement of industrial project partners, mainly SMEs, as well as an advisory board with potential end users, has ensured a high technical readiness level and the scalability of the product. Uh, the fabrication process of the sensors that have been developed within the project Sensidor is definitely uh, mass production compatible. Um, well, the chip fabrication process is um, MEMS fabrication process, it's a batch process, it's well known and it's definitely uh, mass production compatible. And the assembly process is basically the same as our SGX standard assembly process and we're fabricating already several millions of sensors per year with this process.
Developing an intelligent and cost-efficient packaging process has been a central idea right from the start. The overall mission? To create a prototype with mass production potential. The complete process is automatic. At first, a rotating diamond blade separates a silicon wafer into single chips. A fully automated pick-and-place system picks up the chips, puts droplets of glue into ceramic packages and then deposits the chips into the package cavities. In another automated process, the chips are electrically connected to the package through gold wires. Fine lines of glue are dispensed along the top edge of the package and a lid is added on top. In a final step, the sensor units are tested and sorted. An integral part of creating a scalable product is the actual integration of the sensors and putting together all the pieces. One of the partners taking care of this is the German SME 3S. 3S stands for Sensors Signal Processing um, Systems. That means that we are integrating um, sensors, electronics, uh, signal processing to whole systems. And that exactly is our role in the project, so we are acting as a system integrator in the end. The most exciting part of the project is coming right now. It's the field test, it's the, yeah, the moment of truth where we put all the pieces of the puzzle together and see what comes out. The impact of Sensendor is that it is a real milestone on the way of developing and, and providing um, of high performance uh, indoor air quality measurement systems. So um, we will be able in a few years to provide such a system on the market which really is able to, to measure benzene, formaldehyde and naphthalene in very, very low concentrations and uh, um, selectively. For me personally in the project it, it has been very exciting uh, to be uh, collaborating with these uh, skilled people in the project and, and seeing the, the level of expertise uh, and bringing together the experts to generate something unique and new. And there are more fields of application to be discovered. Future challenges will arise in the field of safety and security, medical applications such as breath analysis, or of course, outdoor air quality. The next challenge is actually, if we want to do demand-controlled ventilation, we need to make sure that the outdoor air that we ventilate inside the building is actually of a better air quality than the air we have inside. So we need to have sensors also on the outside of buildings because we also have sources outside that will cause bad air inside. And um, then we need to have demand-controlled ventilation strategies that take into account what is the air quality outside, also projections, so maybe ventilate in the morning before traffic starts. Um, this will be challenges, but we need to have the sensor systems first to be able to um, develop these systems. So far, the Sense Indoor team has already taken some decisive steps towards their goal, to develop mass production compatible sensor systems, which will control indoor air condition in all kinds of buildings and improve the quality of life for everybody.